a gentleman's choice for an outfitter, and the British people's most favorite, Thomas Burberry. Hello everybody, it's Sean here and welcome back to another video with JC's Home Finds Vlogs. Being born with a life surrounded by the cloth, the now 187 and late Thomas Burberry has quite a lot of tales to tell. We got our Burberry scarf on and let's learn some more cool facts you may not know about Burberry's of London. Awesome. Born at Brockham Green near Dorking in Surrey, Thomas Burberry was educated at his local village school. The village itself has been well known around the UK for having such a community with a sense of warmth and picturesque kind of feel as you live your years there. As a matter of fact, they even have their own bonfire celebration there within the community. Now back to the 1800s with Thomas, he was apprenticed to a local draper shop there way before he opened his very first business. That was in circa 1856. The town basing Stoke back then where he opened it was quite a small one to say the least. Thomas, like all other aspiring outfitters, wanted to be recognized. Therefore, he always has this certain fiery appetite for promotion and publicity. Well, we'll be talking more of that later. But on this time, being a genius of a gentleman's outfitter, he is, as he was gaining popularity amongst the region, made his way into partnering with British cotton manufacturers and aimed to provide waterproof textiles that would seem to appeal significantly to the eyes of the growing middle class and countryside English folk. That was in the year 1800s of England. And thus, with his passion along his booming waterproof sportsman clothing, the gabardine was born. Gabardine or gabardine is a tightly woven fabric that is used to design trousers, uh, overcoats, and even all the outfits that is used to basically fight off the British weather. And as you may have probably guessed, Thomas Burberry was the founder and the father of the gabardines. By combining a variety of worsted wool, cotton silk, tightly woven into one fabric, the gabardine is the core material of every Burberry product out there. With such a demand for these types of clothing, Burberry's of London really peaked to the top as one of Britain's most well-known brands of all time. And with this leverage, as mentioned earlier, Burberry had the need for a promotion and publicity. Hence, he made sure that the two of Britain's famous warlords, Kitchener and Lord Baden Powell, would only and only get weatherproofs from his shop. But how famous exactly are the two lords, you might ask? Well, Lord Horatio Herbert Kitchener was famous for helping build Britain's first mass army and became the face of the First World War specifically when he appeared on the Your Country Needs You poster, much like America's famous Uncle Sam poster. Whereas Lord Baden-Powell is the founder of the Scouts, duly recognized for his works with organizing the Wolf Cubs in Great Britain. They are widely known as the Cub Scouts in the United States for boys under the age of 11. Or basically, Baden-Powell is the founder of the Boy Scouts that we know today. Aside from Burberry's long history with the military along with his clothing, you may have also noticed Burberry's logo that actually changed through the years and generations that followed. Initially, back in 1901, Thomas had this amazing idea to come up with a motif of an equestrian knight to pair along with this Burberry's typeface. Also, when you zoom in with the equestrian knight, specifically with the flag he's holding, it says the words or the Latin words pro sum, pro sum. which means or directly translates to English onward or forward. He needs a milk! And just as fashion comes and go, expand onward to the future, they also provide changes with their logos. But wait, before we proceed with the next one, I would like to ask everyone to please like, share, and subscribe with JC's Home Finds Vlogs to be updated and posted on contents and uploads. From 1901 to 2018, the knight motif has always been present, ever-changing the variations of the knight's details every now and then. 
Then came 2018 when the modern brand decided that the night should finally be put to rest and now settle with the plain text of Burberry. As you can see here, a straightforward and text-based approach with a jet black color scheme, signaling the brand's welcoming of a hashtag new era made by Italian designer Riccardo Tisci with a monogram that takes the details or initials of the founding father, Thomas Burberry. He then weaves them into an interlocking and colorful design decked out in orange, white, and beige, pinning his colors to the mast as he takes the company in a new creative direction once and for all. To this day, according to sources, no one knows what caused his death. And all but for sure, some of his distant relatives through generations may know or may not know. But as all things mysterious, they obviously won't tell. On November 1, 2016, Burberry released a short film titled The Tale of Thomas Burberry. A film inspired by our man's life and achievements. Reimagining of key events from the brand's history and all that. With his time of reckoning, the 90-year-old Thomas Burberry retired on Abbott's Court, Weymouth, Dorset in 1917, a town now known as a rural retreat and wedding venue. Having lived as a teetotaler who married twice and had two sons in his life, Thomas Burberry died in his home due to unspecified causes in 1926. And one last cool fact before we end with the video and before we wrap things up <laughs> the first store he opened back in 1856 still exists to this day and very recently and just very recently it is Burberry's headquarters and that has been our video for today with the cool facts you may not know about Burberry's I hope you learned something new today and thank you so much once again for joining me with JC's home finds vlogs I'll see you in the next video, and as always, you stay fabulous as always.